to senior week and prank day. <laughs> Help me, what am I supposed to say? I mean, that's the truth. Hi, it's Emma, we're at, we're at school. It is way past eight o'clock. I'm past my bed now. Meaning nine it is eight, uh, literally right at nine o'clock, right as I say so, almost 59. Um, and we are going to have a prank night. We are currently waiting for, thank you for showing off my food, and chopsticks. Yes, I didn't have utensils. At Tipton. At the kid who we know who gave me my food and forgot to give me my utensils, so I had to get chopsticks out of my car. We're waiting on people to bring us the keys so that we can actually get in and start working on the pranks. <laughs> but I'm basically just gonna take you guys around all night and show you what we're doing. Does everybody want to introduce themselves so it's not so I'm the dumb idiot in the with background? The I'm the dumb idiot. Yeah, that's that's, that's the one. And none of you watched. They watched it. They watched it. Some of them. So that's Cade. We got Rachel in the back. We got Lauren. We got the and we got Maggie. Wait, so we were just talking about how we all have different food. So I brought Petros. I just spilled that on Kay myself. Kay brought Red Bull and Starbucks I energy had drinks. I Doritos. And Lauren. Ooh, don't forget What did you me. bring? Jet lag. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. She, just oh, yeah got, she came back from Italy. Yeah, like OG right here. You actually came for prank day even though you just and got back from. And she's on time. Yeah. Yeah, she was on time. Shout out to all of those who didn't come yet, yeah. yet. Yeah. Also, I got this scratch today. Yeah. I don't know how. So while we're still waiting on keys to be provided, we have decided to start making our cardboard cutouts of ourselves. And these are going to be placed throughout the whole school. And we're going to put our faces on them. It's gonna, and our, oh yeah, we brought our polos. We have a pile of them as you see here. And then the other, wait, are we putting the crop tops on these or are we no. putting the crop tops on us and the regular ones on these? Regular. Okay, regular polos go on these and then we're making crop tops out of our polos and we're wearing them to school tomorrow. So I have to explain something before I show it to you. So my good friend Cade, he is from Indiana, the land of corn. So uh, prepare yourself for what you're about to see, uh, what we're currently working on. All right guys, I gotta show the vlog what we're doing. This is Corn Central currently. Okay. Hi, I'm Jaden Willett. I am from Newburgh, Indiana, and I love corn. He indeed does. This is we my have collection. How many pounds did you guys buy? 50. 150 pounds of corn. It's 21 dollars. Incredible. So we're filling up all of the beakers with corn, and the best, most important part of this day, what I have personally added myself, it's corn time, baby. We filled the clock with corn. And it's just going to keep getting better and better. Considering that our class is the second graduating class at my school, we've taken on the slogan, first is the worst, second is the best. So of course we had to write it in corn for the corn room, which has also gained a, uh, what did you call this, tobacco cloth? Because yeah. we're just going for the whole Midwestern theme. And uh, you kind of have to look hard to see the corn at the moment, but we're going to be putting it in more, see there, there's our slogan again. First is the worst, second is the best. That's right. Corn, this is the corn. For our next prank, we are printing out our capstone essays. Basically, capstone was a project that we had to do. It was a year-long project, and we had to write a big fat essay about it in the end. Also, that's the printer making the loud noises. Um, but we had teachers that nagged us about it all the time. I mean, that's their job, obviously, so like it was fine. But we're going to print out a whole bunch of our capstone papers and put them all over their room. Hopefully cover the whole thing. Also, this is so our friend John D, who's a senior, obviously, this was one of his pranks. He literally taped the word gullible to every single classroom's ceiling. Also, this is Jerry, by the way. Hi. Hi. So considering that my essay was already 15 pages long with diagrams and pictures included, I didn't need to print out this many, but I printed out 10 copies of it and I think that I canceled it somewhere because it just got to be a very big stack. So we're gonna go see if we're gonna need to print any other people's off, but I think mine might do it.
Well, so far this is what I have done. I put them all along the cubbies, the um, cabinets, and I've started along this wall and the door, and then I ran out, so I'm waiting to get some more. This is what Jerry did. <laughs> she just kind of threw them all over the tables, so we'll see if we can do this in a more orderly fashion because, of course, order is my way to go, but we'll see what happens. Also, Elizabeth just walked in, so that hey. it's fine. It's always awkward when I'm vlogging and someone walks in. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do that? But Jerry made this mess. I did this mess. Look. We printed out 10 copies of mine and mine was 15 pages long. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Yay. Dude. That's okay. the reaction we're going for. <laughs> Maggie, tell us why you're a genius. Because now we're going to put all the capstone papers inside of the shade. So whenever she pulls them down, they'll still be here. Yes. You go to a STEM school. Good thinking. So this is the finished room. I'm gonna take you on a little tour. We've got this right as you walk in the door. Oh boy. <laughs> It looks kind of crazy, because it is. But we've got all of our papers, well not everybody's, but most people's papers, printed out all over the room, all over the tables. Oh, this is just chaotic. But you know what, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. They'll think it's funny, fingers crossed. Um, it just kinda looks like a trash mess right there, but that's all right, and you guys saw what we did with these. Got them all up in the guinea pig container container i don't know what you call this you hungry well just kidding you get a capstone paper oh well you thirsty just kidding you get a capstone paper and that happens under all of those cups too so that's the finished look for the math room uh on to the humanities rooms for our history teacher okay and this is what we've got going on out here our cardboard cutouts have been placed Oh my gosh, Elizabeth. <laughs> Yours is really scary. <laughs> yeah, I walked out and saw these. Wait, what? It's like I'm one with the tree. Yeah, I walked out and saw those and they really freaked me out. We've got another one in the tree over there. We've got this one, that one. And over here, we've got me. That's cute. <laughs> oh, got him. Look at Kate. Where is this? Oh yeah, I saw it. I didn't look to see whose it was. It's so oh my gosh. Wait, why is he naked? Where's his shirt? Did Cade not bring his polo? Slacker. Not like you guys would know a difference, but we completely rearranged this room. I say we, but I actually wasn't a part of this. This used to be over in that corner, that used to be over in this corner, and the tables were all over this front part, so. It's just all rearranged and it's gonna tick her off, but in a nice, happy, supportive, we love our teacher kind of way. Also, hold on. There we go. Now I'm vlogging correctly. I'm not looking too hot. But that's okay because it's past midnight and we're just living it up. And we're about to begin tinfoiling this room. We're going to do the tables, his desk, TV, and whatever else we have enough tinfoil for. We're doing tinfoil because it was an inside joke with this teacher. So we're just going to try to tinfoil as much of his room as possible.
And we were gonna make a wonderfully beautiful banner. This is why it's so big, but then we decided that we were lazy and very tired, and and um, this is what we got instead. But that's okay, because effort. It's 3.10, I'm in my car, and I'm going home. I'll update you tomorrow on how the prank goes. Good night. Hello and good morning. I just realized that this is the second day in a row that I've worn a Belmont t-shirt and surprisingly, not surprisingly, I have a Belmont cup as well today. Reppin' that school that I don't go to yet but I will be going to this fall. Woo! Um, video coming soon about details. Anyway, um, it is 7.21 a.m. I got approximately two hours of sleep, not because I couldn't sleep, but because I had to get up again because we have to go to the school and see everybody's reaction. And then um, the best part of today is that after we see everyone's reaction and we go help them clean everything up, we get to go on a, a, on a hike in the mountains. <sighs> um, yes, we're going on a hike today with my class for senior week um, and we're going swimming. I'm so exhausted. So we'll see what, what happens. Um, I'll get to sleep on the bus, so that's good. But we had a lot of fun last night. I got a bit delusional towards the end of the night because I've been I've been up for for hours. I had I had been up for hours. I haven't even tried to calculate it, but it, I'm sure it was crazy. Yeah, but it was fun. We finished all of the stuff, so I guess we're just gonna go see what the reactions are now to everything. So I'll see you when we get there. Bye.